welcome to my channel. My name is Jolly and I make art videos. And today's video, we are going to swatch a lot of paint because I get asked a lot about this um, Prima watercolor, but they have actually rebranded. It's now called Art Philosophy, but the, the content inside is still the same. They just changed their name. So I get asked a lot about which set to get because they have, as you can see here, they have a lot of palettes. So I hope that today's video will help you decide which palette to get. And I also hope that you can watch until the end of the video because I'll be giving some of my insights about these palettes. So are you ready? Let's start!
Okay, so we are done swatching. I forgot to tell you guys that if you're interested to buy the watercolor confections, I have a code with them. You just need to use this code upon checkout and you can check um, the information in the description box below. So let's now move on to my insights about the different palettes. Okay, so let's go to Pastel Dreams. This is a set that I don't really use that often because it's since it's pastel there's also white ad, white paint added in the colors so sometimes it's it's just too milky the consistency is too milky for me so that's why I don't use it as often but I have seen other artists from the design team who uses the pastel dreams and they can create so many beautiful paintings using this set but what i can say is that this color is really really pretty it's a very nice pink color and you don't even need to mix your pink anymore because it's pre-mixed so i think that's what's great about um the watercolor confections because you don't really have to think anymore just grab a palette and you know that the colors will go well with each other and then we have the pa vintage pastels so this is their latest um, set and the colors here are more muted as you can see the pastel dreams um, feels really happy the colors are so happy but with the vintage pastel it's more muted 
So the vintage pastels, same with the pastel dreams. Uh, the colors also have uh, white in them. So I don't use it as often, but the colors are also great. They're very unique. And if I guess if you like painting vintage florals, this would really, really look great. Let's move on to the classic. So this is like their basic set. And I also use this palette a lot if you have been following me on Instagram. I feel like if you're a beginner, you should definitely get this palette because you, the, all the colors that you need are in here. Just need to mix and match the colors to create more colors. Um, and then you have also a pink here that is similar to Opera Rose. So it's a nice vibrant pink color but usually for this color i have to add a bit of yellow just to tone it down a little bit and in this set you get this really really nice blue and also this green that looks good for painting leaves so i use this a lot and also this one but i kind of wish that they did not include a white color anymore because we don't really use it that much so for the tropical so I, I have here a very old set and the colors in the tropical set are also very vibrant and they have uh, two pinks here and they also have this very nice like avocado green color so this is also a set that i don't use a lot just because i prefer the odyssey more but this is also good for florals so let's move on to my favorite which is odyssey i know you see this palette a lot in most of my paintings and um my favorite would be this pink color i think it's called tokyo and i also love the other colors because they look unique um i feel like if you already have a basic watercolor set and you want to just expand the colors that you have i would suggest getting the odyssey set and i like that the colors included here are more um, unique um, they have like a mauve-ish color they also have a color that's a bit similar to the color um, Caput Mortum I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly but I do love this set a lot okay so between these two palettes I know a lot of you are asking which one do I get well I personally love using the essence set um, every time I paint using this set it gives me um, more of more of a bluish um, tone in the painting I'm gonna show you an example so I use um, essence for this painting and I definitely love this very rich um, violet color it's, it's like a bluish violet color and it looks really really rich when you add it in your bouquet I think this is the color that I use from the essence yep. and I just love the entire um, the calming uh, feel of the essence set and then for the woodlands this is good for landscape but i don't really paint landscape that much um, i just noticed that whenever i paint with woodlands it gives me this warm feeling um i'm gonna show you a painting well i'm not sure if i use woodlands here but it has this like warm feel to it so that's the effect of the woodlands i guess it depends on your preference when you're painting if you like bright and cheery florals or do you want uh, more toned down colors so i guess it yeah it all depends on 
your preference. Then let's move on to decadent pies. So for decadent pies, I usually just take out this palette because of the this nice green color and also it looks like an olive green and of also they have this indigo-ish color which I absolutely love that's why I keep getting this palette so yeah but but the other colors I don't really use it that much and also in the decadent pie set you you also get um, like a silver and gold color so just in case you also need this but I feel like it's a little weak like if I painted it here you can't really see it that much but you can see the gold color And we are down to the last two sets. So let's start with complexion. This is also one of the newer sets. It came with the essence in Woodlands, but this is also a set that I don't really use that much. Just because the colors are not the colors that I would personally use. But I guess if you're painting a lot of portraits this would be a good palette for you because I feel like the the colors for the skin the skin tone it's already pre-mixed for you so this is the set and it, they also included this gold color here and there's also a nice um, like a salmon pink color here lastly we have the shimmering lights i feel like this uh would pop up more if we use a darker paper perhaps a black um paper so this is like a metallic palette uh, i'm not sure if you can see it in the camera but there's a sheen on the swatches so um this one I just opened this because I'm not that into uh, metallic palette, metallic paints. Um, I noticed that th uh, it's a little difficult to grab the pigments in this set. I think twinkle this color. I don't know why, but it can't seem to lift the colors so it looks really light i'm not so sure if it's supposed to look that way um, but the other colors look good as you can see there's also that shine over here so i guess you can also use this as uh finishing touches for your painting if you want to add a bit of um sparkle yeah okay so we are done um i just wanted to share you my favorite combination it's classic odyssey and essence so those are the three palettes that i reach out more um sometimes i also grab the woodland set but yeah those are the palettes that i use the most um let me know in the comment section below which ones are your favorite or which ones would you like to try. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that bell button so that every time I upload a new video, you will be notified. Bye!